Hi everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I will be covering how to study Indian art and culture effectively, how to study this particular subject, this particular topic in UPSC more productively in such a way that you can get the maximum out of it and you can probably get as many questions correct, especially in the prelims portion because that's when the tricky questions come. In mains, it is much easier to tackle this particular subject because the questions are straightforward or the questions are descriptive in nature so it is easier to write about them but in prelims it becomes tricky because you have to pick one option and in that the options are also such that it becomes much more harder to solve them so i will cover the sources how to actually read these sources what is the sequence of reading that you should do uh, then i will also uh, talk about what to read what exactly to read in this particular book so that you can have uh, the maximum you can get out of them all right so first of all, let's discuss the sources and I will discuss the sources in the sequence of how you should read them. You know, in what sequence you should be actually reading this particular sources. First of all, you should read the ancient India book, the old ancient India book of class 11th. This is available on Amazon also. This used to be published by NCERT. It does not get published anymore because the new history books have come. But I think this is one of the best books to read for ancient history and also it will help you in art and culture because without studying ancient history of India, like without studying all these various chapters that have been provided here, the history of the Harappan period, the history of the, you know, the Mauryan period, the history of the Rig Vedas, the history of Jainism and Buddhism, Magdhan Empire, then the history of various invasions that India faced, the Central Asian contacts that India came in with, then Gupta age etc all this history is must before you actually dive into art and culture because with this you will get a lot of context of what you are reading so I would say the first book you should read for art and culture for starting your ancient history should be this NCRT book this is a great book it is not very very long it is very readable it is very nicely put together around 300 pages 250 pages and all the chapters are important. I would suggest to read all the chapters. Don't skip any chapter. And chronologically also, I would say that you start from the first chapter and read till the last chapter. I don't think you need to switch chronologies. But just for the one tip I can give you is, if you skip the first six chapters and start with chapter seven, that is also all right. So if you start from chapter seven, then read all the chapters till chapter 29 here. And then go ahead and read 1 to 7, 1 to 6. That is also fine. So you can read the chapter 7 to, I think, chapter number 29 first. And then you can come back to chapter 1 and go ahead and read till chapter 6. All right. So that is also a fine way to read it. Because chapter 7 starts with Indus and Harappan culture, the Indian civilization. And I think that's a more relatable, that's a more understandable, more popular way to go about reading this because even I liked it starting from here because before that the history before that is um, harder to conceptualize harder to find context of but the history from here uh, we have all come across something or the other in popular media or in our um, you know understanding of Indian history generally in newspapers so it is easier to read and I would say that whenever you are reading this chapter I will also tell you how to read the chapter properly but in this book, whenever reading these chapters, try to definitely refer to the images. And if these images are not clear because this is a black and white print, definitely go to Google images and try to do uh, a lot of interlinkages, meaning try to see the images that you are reading, try to see the images of that particular text. That way your mind will get imprinted with what you are reading. Okay. So that is very important. So. This is the number one book you should start off. The number second book that you should go to is in Introduction to Indian Art, Part 1. This is class 11th, Fine Arts book. And this book, this book is a great book to read about Indian art and culture because it gives you specific examples of developments in various fields of art and culture in India. So it will give you specific examples from the arts of the Indus Valley, Mauryan period. So whatever history you are studying in this, it will actually give you specific examples of art from these periods. All right. In this particular book, it will also talk about murals and sculpture and specialty that is Indian bronze sculpture. So all these are being talked here with a lot of examples. They've given a lot of pictures like this. 
you know like seated buddha where it is they have given a lot of examples like this of paintings of temples they have talked about details of the temple architecture also how it developed from like something like this to something like this more elaborate style of indian temple architecture they will also give you these kind of diagrams to understand what are the different parts of the indian temple you know what are the different how it is designed actually this is fantastic book and uh, i would say you go ahead and read this book completely from chapter 1 to its end not a very thick book you can definitely get it done the third book i would say is you should go to an introduction to indian art part 2 which is a fine arts book for class 12th now this is for class 11th this is for class 12th this one is a fine arts book so it talks about handicrafts it talks about paintings which is not talked about in this book all right so in this book you will be uh, reading about the manuscript paintings rajasthani mughal school of painting so mostly paintings and other such crafts and arts are being talked about in this particular book and this is very important book so this book is a little bit heavier because it goes into details of various paintings so i would say don't make notes from this book just read it like a story and just try to highlight the main points the main works of arts because if you go ahead and read this very in very minute detail it becomes a little difficult so in this i would say just focus on various schools of paintings uh, like why how is rajasthani school different from mughal school from deccani school focus on that and focus on a few key examples beyond that you don't need to go into every bit and detail of this book also all right and here uh, they also talk about other pieces of art important important pieces of art so you will be going through that also and the final book that is very very important i feel like is obviously the indian art and culture now what is the specialty of this book lot of people prefer just reading this book instead of going through these ncrts which is also okay i don't mind that but if you are someone like me who likes to have a good base foundation built of any subject then i would recommend you read these books if you are not someone like that if you can go directly into this art and culture book that is also fine now that you have to decide what i like about this book is this book has given whatever possible examples there are in art and culture of questions of examples of all these you know various inscriptions so it has covered everything basically because it has covered inscriptions and edits this question came in upsc last time i think it covers architecture so it has divided the indian art and culture space into its various forms architecture sculpture pottery then edits music paintings handicrafts literature you know dance form and unesco's lists languages puppetry etc so it has divided it in that way and then it had it has explained all those inside and it has given a lot of examples all right so like this is a example of so here if you here you go it will give you what is a school of painting it will give you main main examples and it will also highlight what are the important keywords all right so that way this book is really good it has given good picture also everywhere so very very lot of hard work has gone into this book so i i think that way this book is very good but still i would feel that if you have read, read these books then it becomes much easier to remember this book and to read this book uh there is no shortcut to reading this book the only thing i would say is focus on things that are more important first and go to things that are less important last so for example um here i will show you what to read so in the first reading don't focus on dates and names so much focus on big facts and storyline so whenever you are reading any of these books don't focus on the facts right away first understand the story line first understand the big facts surrounding that particular reading and then go into the details later on and later you insert approximate dates date ranges into that story line and also the personalities see once you have understood the story from these books then you can go ahead and insert the important date ranges you can never remember a date so you can insert important date ranges into that story line and also the personalities or examples that you want to study so for example let's say you are studying about indus valley civilization arts in indus valley civilization okay so i have studied indus valley civilization from this book first of all i try to understand what is the overall history of indus valley civilization roughly it started around 2500 years back you know i am try to understand that roughly where it was located i try to understand that roughly what was the culture of this period you know that you try to understand roughly you know what kind of people they were economically politically 
uh, what kind of people they were religiously what kind of people they were trade what kind of trade they used to do what kind of cultural habits they had you know so this over over well, did they have male and female deities both did they not try to understand from a over point of view how it relates like come if you compare harappan civilization to, to in today's india civilization how was it different from to, of course you don't have to factor in technology you can minus technology how what kind of people they were overall and that you can get an idea from the end of the book exercises also because they ask the same questions you know that describe the main occupation so what kind of jobs they used to have right what kind of works they used to do what were their main achievements in the field of technology and crafts so what did they have the wheel did they use the wheel did they use cotton uh, to make textiles did they make pottery so this is the kind of different questions you can ask all right and this is how you understand the broad story line so i always tell my students who are watching the channel that always try to understand the big story line and later on when you go into the second reading whether from this book or whether from nitin singhania try to insert those facts into this story line insert the facts of examples personalities date ranges then you will be able to remember it for a longer time and you will also have a better understanding now so what to read in what to read refer to the previous year questions whenever you are trying to find out what are the important things what are the most important things that you need to remember from these books i did my little analysis of the previous year questions what i found was upsc likes to ask a lot of location based questions from which area this particular painting comes from or sculpture comes from or this particular style of temple come from okay then they like to ask a lot of questions about buddhism and jainism no in detail facts about buddhism and jainism they also like to ask terms related to let's say temple architecture or dynasties say there is a particular term they will ask you which dynasty is this from which temple uh, or what kind of temple architecture that term is related with so this you can do by referring to previous year questions there are only two to three or four questions from art and culture that have come in last few years papers so you can easily refer to last year's previous year questions and find the answer to your question that i'm just telling you and of course focus on this you can you should focus on architecture painting sculpture unesco affiliated sites study the region so make a map maybe you can make a map of india all right maybe you can make a map of india and in that map or you can buy it from uh, from the market there is this printed maps that come and you can mark there you know okay these are the various areas these paintings are from so and these are the various architecture stupas in these areas these are the various buddhist stupas in these areas so if you make this various maps 10 12 maps covering your entire spectrum of uh, things like paintings manuscripts texts like edicts like ashoka's edicts minor and major edicts you can cover all these murals temple architecture if you can cover it through maps it will also become very easy for you so this is just few techniques i'm telling you to make your studies easier so today i have discussed so far sources the sequence of studying all these sources for art and culture now the final thing that i wanted to tell you was also how to read these particular books the first thing is you should read the table of contents properly so let's say i am reading this ancient india book first of all the first thing i want to do is first of all go ahead and read the table of contents well so that i understand what are the various things i'll be covering read this properly and try to understand what is the chronological way this is sorted in all right the second thing is the first reading should be just a glimpse or just a skim or just a broad overview so in your mind you should be forming a story board okay a kahani type ke aapke mind mein develop honi chahiye jisme bade bade points aapko padhne hain small facts facts pe aapko focus nahi karna hai aapko first reading mein bas bade bade points padhne hain bade bade points kaise ki indus valley civilization mein trade kya tha इकोनॉमिक्स क्या थी कल्चर्स क्या था रिलीजन क्या था ये बड़े बड़े पॉइंट्स आपके माइंड में रहेंगे फिर उसमें छोटे छोटे पॉइंट्स इवेंचुअली आपको इंसर्ट करने हैं डिटेल्स इंसर्ट करनी है डेफिनेटली ऑल्सो रीड द चैप्टर एंड एक्सरसाइजेज और क्वेश्चन बिफोर रीडिंग विद एप्टर सो सो बिफोर यू एक्चुअली रीड द चैप्टर गो एड एंड रीड द टेबल ऑफ कॉन्टेंट्स सॉरी टेबल ऑफ एक्सरसाइज होती है जो एक्सरसाइज बैक ऑफ द बुक में दे रखी होती है उसके क्वेश्चन को पहले पढ़ें एंड देन गो एड एंड रीड द चैप्टर because it will tell you these things are the important things in the chapter so you will know that these 10 things are the important things i should focus on when reading the chapter okay so you should always read the chapter and end 
exercise first before reading the chapter when you are reading the chapter use wikipedia and other online sources to connect the dots use google images use wikipedia page or any other authorized or you know page which has uh, dependable information which is not like a news portal but more of a information portal of some university of some published author who is reliable to get more idea about what you are reading so that way you will be able to connect the dots also and you will be able to have more references okay look at old pyqs from upsc papers before you go ahead and uh, go into second reading okay now first reading you should do all those things and then second reading mein jab aapko jaoge fir details mein aapko jana hai fir aapko as much as possible a map is as much as possible as much as possible break down karna hai concepts ko okay economy is type ki thi to aaj se compare kariye ya fir dusre era se compare kariye to usse aapko idea milega what were the differences this is how you analyze this is how you go beyond just having facts and data but going into the knowledge you should break down the concepts into smaller parts and try to understand them compare them and definitely don't ever make notes in the first reading first reading mein kabhi bhi notes nahi banane chahiye that is a very very big recipe for disaster all right so these are the things i wanted to go through you today i hope this 15 minute video will help you to not only read indian art and culture effectively but also to read other subjects i will make such video on every subject of upsc every detail every part of upsc syllabus in the next couple of weeks so i hope you like this series and let me know if you have any questions and uh, take care bye bye and see you soon